gun violence is skyrocketing in Minneapolis. It's reached the point that bullets have hit two children in just over two weeks. Why y'all not mad? Ain't nobody mad. It's two kids now. What is going to be a third one this weekend? Sherry Jennings is the grandmother of Ladavian Garrett Jr. A bullet hit the 10 year old in the head a few weeks ago while he was in the back of his parents' car. On Saturday, nine year old Trinity Smith was shot in the head while she was jumping on a trampoline. Minneapolis Mayor Jacob Fry laid out a plan to fight the violence today. Our David Schumann's here to explain how it would work and what the families of the city's youngest victims have to say. To see the two fathers of these two little children embrace each other outside the hospital where their kids are fighting for their lives, it was a powerful moment, hard to put into words, but it was emblematic of what so many people in Minneapolis feel right now, which is that enough is enough and the violence has to stop. Right Rayshawn Smith right looked there. to the window of his baby girl's hospital room. She's fighting. She feels all of you here. He spoke to a crowded vigil held nightly here for nine year old Trinity Smith, who was shot in the head this weekend in Minneapolis. I prayed for that little girl and I got her. I got her. I can't lose her. I can't lose her. I can't lose her. I can't lose her. I can't. Trinity's room is next door to LaDavion Garrett Jr.'s room. A 10 year old also shot in the head in Minneapolis last month. This vigil is for him, too, and his dad, LaDavion, came together with Rayshon to applause. I just got on my knees. I ain't never prayed this much. And look at my son now. That's all he needs. We go we get through this. We got God. That's it. Earlier in the day, Monday, LaDavion's grandmother, Shari Jennings, brought the fury at a press conference about community safety. And there's two kids at North Memorial right now fighting for their life from a gunshot wound to the head. When is North Minneapolis going to stand up? When is enough enough? She didn't mince words in telling Mayor Jacob Fry and Police Chief Madera Arredondo their plan to stop gun violence needs to bring results. I hope y'all step up because if not, this is going to be a deadly summer. This is going to be a deadly summer of kids, of kids. Our kids ain't safe now. Fry said 19 kids have been shot this year in the city. Trinity and LaDavion have the support of this community, and every thought and prayer is needed. I just love her. I want her to be okay. I want her to come home. Philosophy behind Mayor Fry's safety plan is to have law enforcement and community driven approaches working simultaneously. So his plan prioritizes increasing MPD staffing levels by about 200 officers and bringing in BCA and federal agents to help too. It also calls for more funding of violence prevention groups and expanding non police response to mental health and non emergency calls. Uh, thank you. We have a little more uh, context to share and how this might work as well. Uh, bullets have hit just more than 180 people in Minneapolis so far this year, and that is up nearly 150 percent from this time in 2020. About half of this year's shootings have happened in North Minneapolis. That's where those two children were shot. And about 30 percent happened in the third precinct in the southeastern part of the city. Seven percent downtown and about the same in the northeast and southwest.